Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. I'm just following up here. Um, this is the second lesson on how to create clip art icons uh, in PowerPoint. And um, what I've shown you in the last lesson was how you can kind of trace over an image to create um, your own. And I ran out of time at the end there, and I felt like it was worthwhile showing you guys a couple things. One was uh, how you can save out the icon. So a uh, simple. Uh, a simple thing you could do is you could save it out as a PNG, just copying and pasting the picture or as an EMF. And then I also wanted to show you uh, why I choose uh, simple style icons as well. So let me just uh, charge through this really quickly. Um, so one of the things we need to do is um, this was created as a semi-transparent image so that you could see the picture underneath as we drew it. Well, we need to remove that and make it uh, get rid of the transparency again. So um, fill you'll see the transparency. Let's go ahead and move that back to zero. And um, if don't forget that those spokes were actually lines. Um, so uh, let's go fix those individually, or sorry, as a group here. Um, so let's click on all the things that were lines. Okay, now we can format that and you'll see the line color, we had the transparency. I forgot to do that before and it messed up my EMF. So um, now the transparency is zero. Now we have this and we can turn it black. So let's do the fill color as black for um, for that. And let's make the spokes black too. I could have done that in the last step, but I forgot to. And there we go. Um, so now you could just copy this. So copy and then you could paste it as a picture. And now it's just a single object here. Um, but that's going to be a PNG. You won't be able to scale it all the way up. Um, the other thing you can do is, let's get rid of this. Um, let's save as picture, and let's call that. Um, we can save it as PNG, but we're going to do it as a as an EMF, um, and we'll call it bike three. And let me then insert that image. I'm going to see bike three. Now it's actually going to be fully scalable. Um, and again, now that you've saved this out, you could do the same thing with ungrouping. Control Shift G, yes, Control Shift G to ungroup. Remove this top part, and you know you could turn you could turn the bike frame different colors, and it gives you some flexibility there. Um, so. I um, hope that helped you out. The one other thing I wanted to tell you is um, I think the problem when you go out and you um, you find an icon style you like, if you pick something that's complicated, you might get yourself stuck where you're going to have to hire a graphic designer um, to do all of the editing. So picking simple styles is, is, a, is a good thing to do. So you know, I really like doing this simple black 2D style where I can then um, recolor them to, to fix them. So you know, I have all my people, icons, and navigation, and things that could be landscapes, and and a web icons and transportation. Um, and then if I had to go modify some of these, I could do a little bit on my own just with recoloring um, or um, or drawing a simple object myself like what we just did um, with that bike there. I also really like the, the hand-drawn style as well. This is done as clip art. Now, th this is not as easy to redraw um, within PowerPoint, but it, again, it's simple. And if you had to hire somebody to do that, um, yeah, you could. Um, so anyways, um, there's some advantages to picking simple things beyond just you know, creating new icons. It's, it's also it's, it's really representative of what the object is. You know, this is a phone and you're not messing around. This is the bar chart. It's clear what these things are. So a couple of advantages to picking simple styles, but you know, it's personal preference with what you want to do with the styles you choose. Hope you found that useful. Um, I have a whole bunch of lessons on clip art and icons and recoloring and animating. Um, so. Uh, uh, check out elearningart.com to see more of those or, or the YouTube uh, channel that I have. Thanks so much. Have a good day.